G'day everyone and welcome to Marcus TV Gaming and we are playing round three, race one of the World Sports Car Championship. We left North and South America with Daytona and Interlagos. We now are in Europe with Imola. First up at the historic 1988 track and of course that's where they had uh, put, they changed it after 94, so it's pre before 94. Unfortunately, that fateful day, 1994, of course, we lost two great drivers, Roland Ratzenberger and, of course, Ayrton Senna back in 1994. And uh, so we're at the historic version, of course, all these tracks are historic class, class, classic circuits. I'm trying to get that word out. So we start off in Europe. And, of course, we've got some great tracks coming up before we head back to North America with Montreal and Laguna Seca. So let's have the championship. Todd Norbury leads by... By five points ahead of yours truly in second. Roger Lopez is in third. Dave Stevenson in fourth place. Uh, Fernando Oliveira Jr. is in fifth place. In the GT Classic, it's Ezekiel leading from Jose Lopez and Alexander Bovisky. And in the other class, I'm trying to see where they are. That's has to be Molov, who's leading from Carlos Andre in second in the in the Phoenix Trink Hart class as well. And Bruno Mendes is there. So I could be wrong with that. We'll find out after the first race. But that is the championship. So let's go to the racetrack and let's do some racing. And of course it's one hour. So it's a foggy day for the first race. And it's basically meant to be in winter time. So that's why you'll see there's some, not a lot of leaves on the trees and that. It's amazing what they've done with, with the, the surrounding areas. But let's have a look at the starting grid. Todd Norbury in the Salvo Mercedes C9 takes pole position with Roger Lopez next to him. Dave Stevenson will start on the second row with Fernando Oliveira. Yours truly will start behind them in the fifth spot with Lindy Moly and Filippo Bezzera will rain out the Group C class. Ivan Molov will start on pole for the GT Classic, along with Carlos Andre. Alexander Wolowski is behind them with Bruno Mendes, and then we'll have Ezekiel. So he wasn't leading the champion. Apologise there, but uh, he's in the GT class. Ah. Kalskin will start on the front row in the Phoenix GT Touring Car class with Arthur uh, Thompson. Gregory Bounty will start behind them with Dom Lovett as well. So we got 25 starters. I didn't do well in practice. I didn't do well in qualifying, so I do not know how I'm going to go with this. I like, every time I put the accelerator down, she tries to spin or I'm off the track because I miscalculate the brake, the braking area. So that's all the track map. Uh, sorry, the track. It's going to be fog today. It's going to be dry. One kilometer winds, uh, eight degrees in the air so that's cold five, five degrees on track and it's three o'clock so that's how it shows you how cold it's how cold it is so let's go racing and the first race one hour of the Imola track okay so we're about to go to the what is now anymore and now pits it's actually in the pits here but it used to be the bus stop chicane type of thing. So they extend the pit lane. I think it was the early 2000s or something like that. So about to go green. Round away. Race one at Imola. used to be a very tight chicane of course not there anymore it's just a little bit of a kink all over the place here trying to control the car so we're going to 
that chicane. It's still there. I think they changed it a bit. So hit that badly. Rollins coming on the inside of me, I do believe. Going to be the outside. Oh, we're side by side, almost touch. I think we did touch. Oh, hang on to it. All over the road here. Whoops, gone wide after I tried to break too hard. And we completed our first lap. So round fourth. Not too sure how I'm going to go here. But just try and relax a bit. It's hard to do when your car keeps wheel spinning in every corner, nearly. That was much better. Hit the wheel spin, but it wasn't bad. Cracks and pull off on. Oh boy. Massive wheel spin out of that put last point. a bit, on the curve a bit. Oh, gosh. All right, right again. Oh, I'm really struggling here. Come on, get off the grass, dude. Okay, that, oh my goodness. So, we lost a lot of time. Still a long way to go, so I'm just going to have to hang on. here. Uh, grass is slippery. I'm trying to get on the track. So I lost a lot of time there. today in this race. So I'm just going to check my explains why. Oh, hang on to it. I'm going to go off into the wall. <laughs> that wasn't fun. Uh, seriously. So I lost, I think I lost the front end of my car. Problem. Why I'm going 
Don't sir. Don't bad. I don't have enough people in my car. I mean, when you have heavy fuel, it helps you a bit. So that's what's happened. So now I've just got to need to come to the pits soon, about 30 minutes time and get that all sorted out. We've got a lap traffic up ahead. flashing the lights at them because I have no lights on the car. I've lost the front end of my car so I'm still going to race but I'm going to just get it fixed when I come to the pits. So I lost a lot of time with that blunder around the corner here. Seconds behind the race leader, Norby still leading from Lopez in second place. So Mercedes 1 and 2. Still leads. 
Andre is leading the GT class, classic car class. So he's leading the way. Try not to get on the curves this time. That was much better. Got lap traffic up ahead. Oh, hang on to it. Oh, hang on to it. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. I'm going. <laughs> I do much better from the further on. I don't do well. Oh man, I'm making too much mistakes. It's ridiculous. So now it's dropped to 48 seconds now. So I've got eight, about 18 minutes before I come to the pits. So this is going to be interesting. We have 46 minutes left, nearly. About 47. Under 47 minutes. I had to go around the old hill. I saw it here. That's not good. I made it. But yes, 40, nearly 46 and a half minutes to go. Zico has taken the GT Classic pass. One seconds behind. After had to slow down for lap traffic. We've got three BMWs up ahead. No problems. Oh, not again! Not again! Not again! Not again! I got you. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> that was amazing. That was a great save. Oh. I don't know how I did that. Ah, oh, I'll stuff that up badly. I might have to come in a bit more earlier than I thought, I think. Just get new tyres and fuel on that because I'm just struggling out here at the moment.
So 43 and a half minutes to go. Norby still leading. He's got a nine, comfortable nine second ahead of Stevenson, who has taken second place. Lopez is now third with Oliveira Jr. in fourth place in the Group C class. Next time around, I'll probably come to pits and sort it. Needs that Norby will probably nearly close to, or will probably lap me. I'm not too sure. We'll see. changed and everything. So in the pits I go. Just gonna make sure everything is good. So there we go. In the pits, there's my crew. So it's gonna take a while. Completed lap, or about to hit lap 12. So tyres are done, just waiting for fuel and then repairs. Now hopefully this works, I'll get some better grip out of it with heavy fuel load. Oh, not much repair, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, we're off. So let's see how I go. Across this works and I can catch up again. I'm a minute and 33 seconds behind, so they probably just completed the, the lap already. Blue flag, that means they are not far behind me, so. Rebel 
a bit of travel from me on the road there, you just saw. So they went far, far behind me when I came out of the pits. I got the blue flag, so Norby wasn't far behind the race leader, so got out in front. So we'll see if they're going to come in the pits. If there's a the blue flag, I can see him behind me. Hang on to it, hang on to it, hang on to it. Ah, oh, no. Uh, unbelievable. There he goes. He's just gone by. Come on, get out of here. Oh, that's frustrating. Come on. Now I'm being lapped, so it's not going to have a good run. I can unlap myself, but. That's what I'll have to do, unlap myself and just try and get away from him, I think. Just try not to interfere in their race. But I have to unlap myself. Change the brakes next time. Brake wise a bit. See how I go. So, first and second place are in the pits. So that gives Lopez the lead as I try to spin again as usual. So, Stevenson and Norby in the pits. So, I'll probably be still 50 seconds behind. We'll see what Lopez does. Or Virginia has taken second place. and 35 seconds to go. Oh, the BMWs. <laughs> right in front of me. The vintage touring car class. So I do a massive wheel spin again. Just trying to control the car. It's going to hold me up. Unless I can get through. Oops, sorry dude. Didn't mean to punk you there. Trying to get out of the way. and trying, He's trying his best to get out of the way. Oliveira Jr. is just behind me. Lopez is in the pits, not Stevenson. Is, no, Oliver is not going to come in the pits, so 
he's lit gently the race leader. There you go, so I'm now ahead of race leader and just hope for the best that I get a good run this time around. I've been making a lot of mistakes. Seriously? Yep, I'm off. I'm not having a really good race today, I can tell you. I am not having a good race. I really gotta fix those brakes up. So, okay. 32, nearly 30 minutes, I'm not it's not looking hopeful that I can come back and get some good finish, so I have to try race two and hopefully have some better braking. So after two wins, Nina Glagos, so I'm not doing well in this race. and see if it helps him. We'll do the uh, top three leaders in three different class in a minute. Probably the next lap we'll do that. So we're halfway. Right now, I'm guessing. Yep, halfway. So let's have a look at the top three class and see who's leading the race. Koskins leading the VTC class. Let's run on the curb a bit. Let's pass this car. Oh, I don't know where he's going to go. Uh, yep, that's all right. We're still there on the track. So Ezekiel has taken the lead. 
Andre. Andre's dropped to third in the GT Classic class. This gang of cars in front of me. Boy, boy. Blue flag, I got the second place about to come up. Second is not far behind me. Oliveira Jr. has not hit it yet. Should because Norby's catching up to catching up to him, excuse me. BMW is together again. minutes to go in this race. I'm last, so after this race I'll have to do a bit of setting, settings and if you're right and all that, so it's all good for race two, which we'll see next time on Marcus TV. Not really fast, you can tell because the Warby's catching up, so I don't want to do since there's no chance of me catching up to him, I'm just going to let him by when he gets closer. up ahead. Battle of Corvettes. And Tom, Todd's got caught up in that. So no, 24 minutes to go. First race of two one hour races.
Get an arm off. And into the wall. Well, that's that. Second race is better than this first one. So the battle between the two race leaders in the Group C class has come down to 7.6, well 7.3 now. So Todd is catching up as I'm going on the grass, hang on to it. So, saved it, it's all good. But yes, he's catching up, although he's dropped back to nine, 10 seconds now. So traffic has uh, ruined that for him. How I save that. 20 minutes to go. Six seconds behind, so he's catching up to Oliveira. I'm surprised Oliveira hasn't come in the pits yet. I've got a prototype ahead. Who's that? The Norbury. I'd have been Norbury. Yeah, I think it was Norbury. So I was catching it back up to Norbury. He was getting caught up in traffic, but uh, there it could be Molin. I'm not too sure. Took, took a 
shortcut over the chicane. Battlefield position now. Norbury has passed Oliveira Jr. to take the lead again. With uh, under 17 minutes to go. So what is Oliveira going to do now? Is he going to come in the pits or is he going to stay out? Even I'm going to pass him, it looks like. Oh, on the grass, hang on to it. I'm on the grass, hang on to it. I'm going to hit the wall. Oh, there we go. Unbelievable. There goes. Don't need it. I can still see. Just wait for these cars to go by. Don't need the headlights. I can still see. good tyres to the end. So, I'm surprised that he's not in the pits yet, unless he's just going to stay out and not bother pitting. Try to get some points. Which he may do, he might finish second. in the GT Classic class, so that's, nothing's changed up there. So 14 minutes to go. You can tell I'm very happy to see that as I'm going to be in the wall again. Uh, wheel spin is driving me nuts. Um, yeah, so 14, under 14 minutes to go. I'm looking forward to the checkered flag to tell you the truth. I will get some points, but it's not going to be much. So I think I'll probably be taking second place by Stevenson. Stevenson's way behind. We've got Bezerra in third. So I don't think Bezerra has pitted either. I'm just trying to think. I don't think Bezerra has pitted, so... Let's see if he's going to take third place. Just as I said that, he's coming to the pits. Oh, I'm on the... 
I am really struggling. That's the third time I hit that wall, fourth time, I don't know. I might as well come to the pits again. <laughs> I'm not, not losing any spots. I might as well come to the pits and just get, a, get some good stand of tyres. I've got nothing to lose. So that's what I'm going to do, I think. I'm just going to come to the pits. Not even worry about it. Close itself, so I don't have to do it. So I'm just going to come to the pits just to take some tyres and repairs and everything, and I think Oliver Jr. maybe? No, it's Stevenson. Stevenson, who's now in third place, is catching up, but I'll be in the pits, so I won't be in his way then. Some tyres and all that, we've got less than 10 minutes to go soon. Less than, than 10 minutes to go, it's only 45 minutes. And Olivera Jr. is coming in the pits. So Olivera Jr. is coming in the pits. Pits. So let's see if Stevenson go, will pass him. I think he'll, no, he's leaving, so he will get second place. So he will stay in second, so that was a smart move. Less fuel, <laughs> just tyres. So I'm in the pits, I've got nothing to lose. Bowling's coming to the pits, so he's coming in. There he is, you can see in the mirror up the top, he's just coming in. His crew are getting ready. Just gonna wait. There he goes. He's coming to the pits. That cool-looking yellow black car, Porsche. So he's in. And Oliver Wool looks like he's about a couple of seconds ahead. So I only wiped out this Porsche as I was coming out. So nearly 10 minutes to go in this first race. to go.
inside there, it's getting the crew on the wallie. Five minutes to go. This first race. Oh, a crazy pass there. He's caught up, but it's not a battleful position. Five minutes to go. And to add insult to injury, as I slam in the back of No Name. <laughs> that wasn't. Uh, it just stopped suddenly and I just had nowhere to go. Actually, to tell you trip, I still would have had nowhere to go, even if it stopped suddenly. I think I might have break myself, so. I don't think it was No Name's fault there. I think it was all on mine. But the half. Uh, insult injury, I'm catching up to Zera, and it's not for battle for position as I'm just all over the nearly flipped it. That was <laughs> boy, oh boy. I think black car's just letting me go ahead of him. If you want to go past, so he's worried I might outbreak myself again and crash into it, so. I think there was no name. But anyway. So, not really good race for me. I'll check, change the back brake for us when we get back. Just see if I could probably do it on here, but I would put now. Leave it as it is. And I'll change it in the pits when we get before race two. So. Hopefully I'll have a better race. Second race because I will drop from second to probably third or fourth now. and I'm noticing in the times is catching up to Oliveira Genius so this race may not be over. So battle for second place. I'm just gonna do a Dukes of Hazard stall over that curb.
so a minute and a half to go. It's a great battle between Oliveira Jr. and Stevenson for second place. seconds to go. The depends where the race leader is. He may run over the finish line. He may not yet. So he may be doing another lap. We'll see. That curb on the end. Just having to finish to hit you. Hasn't been good at all. It's done. Oh, nice. First race, we'll see how we go. Next race, hopefully it's much better. Don't think I'll win anything out right now, but uh, get some good points in the second race, we'll be, I'll be happy with that. Because we're into Silverstone for the next round. So clock has hit, so we've got one more lap to go, I do believe, because the race over didn't go across before the time finished. Well, after the time finished, so we've got one more lap to go. I'm all over the race again. So I have to see what the second race is gonna do. Stevenson has taken second spot from Oliveira Jr. On the last lap. Taking the checker flag now. He takes the win in the first race at Miller. Round three. And for the first time for me, it'll be my la I'll be last in the race. In the class anyway, not for the race, but in the in my class, the Group C class. I will finish last. And to add in soft range I was just catching up to Brazero again. So I could have unlocked myself from him, but that's all right. So, checker flag comes out. I'm so relieved the checker flag's coming out. Ugh. It's so frustrating there. I just make mistakes after mistakes after mistakes. So, I have to see how I go in the next race. So, I'll drop that volume down. I just looked at the replays. Uh, so... Let's have the results. Todd Norbury takes the win in race one from Dave Stevenson in second place. Fernando Oliveira Jr. will finish third. Roger Lopez fourth. And I'm last in the Group C class. But I'll take seventh place. In the GT Classic class, Zico takes the win from Nabolski in second. Carlos Andre will finish in third place with Mullock in fourth. And in the, virtual, in the vintage touring car class, it is Koshkin taking the win from Lovric in second. Thomas will finish in third place with Lee Chorley in fourth place. 28 points go to the GT Classic car class. So I don't know what it is for us, unfortunately. It always does that from here. But uh, so Ezekiel has 28 to 26 to Nabulski and Andre will have 25. So, we'll go and have a look at the championship. It's another foggy day again, so it's going to be another foggy race. 
But there you can see the starting grid. We'll do that next week's show. Uh, let's have a look at the standings. So I'm still second place. So that's good news. You can see on the left hand there, Todd Norbury still has a gap now from the Australian second. Roger Lopez is third. And Dave Stevenson with fourth place. Oliveira Jr. fifth. In the GT Classic cars, it is Ezekiel with a hefty lead from Nabuski in second and Jose Lopez in third. And I'm just checking to see Dom Lovric is still leading in the vintage touring car class with Rob Thompson in behind him. A point. And then it's another point for Koskin behind them as well. So it's close in that championship. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I will be back next time on Marcus TV for race two of round three of the World Sports Car Championship at Imola. And of course, then after that, we'll go to Silverstone for the historic 1975 track. Looking forward to that one. So fingers crossed I do well in the second race. I just got to change a few things and hopefully that works for me. And I will catch you next time on Marcus TV Gaming. Bye for now. <laughs>